Hi, I'm Josh Young. We're here at the meet and greet for Amazing Grace on Broadway. It's a story that uh, is uh, based on a real person, John Newton, who lived in the mid-18th century. It takes place on all three points of the slave triangle. So it's a real epic adventure, but it's also a romantic adventure between uh, Josh, uh, John Newton and, uh, and Mary Catlett, his childhood sweetheart, whom he eventually marries. So it deals with John's relationship with Mary, with her, his father, with his, his faith, and with uh, Thomas uh, Pacute, who, who has been his longtime uh, family servant. He was a slave trader. He was a slave ship captain on a few voyages, one of the main slave ship captains in England in the 1700s. And through a series of divine interventions and interactions with people, he realizes the huge error of, error of his ways, and uh, he repents, he, he sees the light, and he testifies before Parliament with his first-hand account of the slave industry, which nobody else had ever done. Had he not done that, the slave trade would have lasted I don't know how much longer in, in England and throughout Europe. And if that had happened, then the abolition would not have happened in America at the same time, which is why I say we wouldn't be where we are today without John Newton. And, and he wrote Amazing Grace. That's just like the side note. To be working on Broadway and to be working on a piece that actually has meaning, that actually, I believe, I'm not sure about this, but I believe this is the first time slavery has been on the Broadway. And we are attempting to uh, bring light to uh, a conversation that uh, this country is poised to have um, uh, with the revelations of, uh, of Ferguson and all like that. The tendrils of slavery are very much with us. And it is my hope that uh, folks who come to see our show will be uh, more open and more able to engage in the conversation that is so sorely needed. I think it's such an inspiring show. It's, it's a fascinating story because then you'll hear this song in a totally new way. I, I know I do. Um, Amazing Grace, I, I always had you know personal things I would think of, but now to know the history behind it is really um, kind of revolutionary for me. And. Um, and, and I think that it's just, I think it's going to make you think. I think it's going to make you think about your society. I, I hope that's what it does. I hope it makes people reflect and make people think like, oh gosh, well, where do I see injustice? Where do I, you know, what in my life is not, is not making society better, you know? Um, and I hope that we can inspire people. Was my